I was somewhat, I was somewhat disappointed that we didn't get to see Italian Spider-Man. Anyways, good haircut. Hello YouTubers, this is Anubifier. On the 4th of November, CIG posted Inside Star Citizen about the mining gadgets and some other stuff. This is where we got a chance to hear from Thorsten and Yogi about what the team's been working on and here's what you need to know. Thorsten said that they were having a hell of a time cracking some of the larger rocks with a prospector. So the idea about a deployable mining gadget to boost the yield was actually born. Yogi continued by reminding us that there were more and more tools provided, but that the difficulty also went up. Rocks were simply too difficult for a single player to crack solo. So the gadget comes with an extra cost and an extra risk. Thorsten said that they're working on a total of six different devices that will each alter properties of the rock. Instability rating, resistance rating, and shatter damage are each different depending on the one that you choose. It sounded as though most of these would do two at once. I actually see that it would be smart for a solo miner to have a wide set of these based on what the scans show before you actually start to work on the rock. It's a pretty neat inclusion with the consumables, the mining heads, and even down to ship choice. The device has its own mini game where you need to align the device to the harmonics of the rock before you get to use it. You get to twist dials and then push a button. You will be able to disable it if you want, and it sounded as if once the rock was cracked, the device disappeared like a consumable. But we should get some more confirmation on that, and if you know, please comment your comments in the comments. Yogi wants to push towards having some on-site refinery and better multiplayer loops, and they said that they were planning to launch this with 316. <coughs> Next, Jared sprinted with his report, more lore branding was shown, more Vulture Greybox was shown and that's slated for 2022. Better NPC and player skin textures are being added to the character model and we're going to be able to customize our eyebrows. There was a demo for a new armor set which looks totally badass and more first pass exploration on graffiti for the interior of the Outlaw space stations and then they ended with some extra diversity in the stations themselves so that Pyro looks a little bit different. That's about it. Thank you very much for spending your time with me. I really do appreciate it. As a public service announcement, today I couldn't help but notice that I hit 66,500, which is 166 away from a very cool number. Exactly two thirds of 100,000. Just thought I would mention that. Fly safe and I'll see you in the verse.